Here we're asked to solve this linear system by elimination. And I'm going to try to eliminate the y's because they're already opposite in sign. So if I multiply the top equation by 2, I'll get a 6. And if I multiply the bottom equation by a 3, I'll get a 6. So let's see what happens with our equivalent system. So multiplying the top equation by 2, don't forget to distribute, we left with 10x minus 6y equals negative 2. Okay, multiply both sides by 2. Then multiply both sides of the bottom equation by 3. Okay, 9x plus 6y equals 21. This is the equivalent system where the y term here is opposite, right? We have negative 6y and plus 6y. So now those, the y term is ready to eliminate. So what I'm going to do is add these equations together. And that leaves me with 19x equals, looks like 19. Okay, and that allows me to solve for x. So dividing by 19, you get there x equals 1. Solutions to these look like ordered pairs, x comma y, right? That's the point where they cross, actually. So we just found x. x happens to be 1. Okay, now to find y, you have to do what's called back substitution. When we back substitute here, you can back substitute into any one of these four equations. Um, I'll take the second equation here and, and plug in x equals 1. So 3 times x plus 2y equals 7. Like I said, it doesn't matter which equation you choose. Here I plug in 1. You'll get the same answer. So 3 plus 2y equals 7. We're trying to solve for y here, subtracting 3, 2y equals 4, and then dividing by 2, we finally have it y equals 2. Okay, so there's our solution. 1 comma 2 is the simultaneous solution. That's the point where these two lines cross, and you can actually plug in the values and see that they really do work for both of the equations.